Francisco. Uh, just in terms of the leadoff spot, philosophically, what it, what's sort of your approach there? What are you, th are, you know, trying to accomplish in that role? Um, I want to gather as much as information as I can, not only for myself but for the for the guys behind me, um, and then share that knowledge and um, let them f do whatever they got to do with it. You know, um, yeah, it could be information could be in one pitch or it could be in ten pitches. And, and just playing off of that, I think after your home run yesterday, you, you said something to Vientos just. How important is that aspect of it, especially for the younger guys? Um, it's very important, you know, and you guys seeing it right there, but then they do it to me. You know, if there's a guy that, a guy that I haven't faced because um, he comes in for the middle of the lineup, they'll come up to me and tell me the same thing, you know, whether it's what the ball's moving, what we see, what we don't see, um, and how should we – if the if the conversation that we had about – the attack plan, it, 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 is it going to work? You know, there's so many different variables, whether it's um, sun, shadows. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of different variables that um, studying and film uh, might not tell you what it's going to be like in the moment. Tim, down here on the front right. What did you think of not being selected as a Gold Glove finalist? Um, I thought that it's, um, let me see how I can put this one, um, that I had a good defensive year, but I guess there's other players that had a better defensive year than me. Um, and then that was it. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm trying to win a World Series, you know, I'm trying to make it to the World Series and then win it. Um, and I guess hopefully next year I get a chance at it again. That's what Mendy thought you would say. He's right. He knows his players. Go to Shy in the back on the left side. Thanks. Francisco, as a guy who's done some hitting third, hit second career, as well as a lot of leadoff. How do you look at the benefits that you can offer out of the leadoff spot in terms of you know, getting your team started and getting extra at-bats versus maybe the ability to do a bit more damage second, third with more runners on base and maybe driving more runs there? Um, my approach doesn't really change whether I'm hitting first, second, third, fourth, wherever in the lineup. Um, just because I'm hitting, just because I'm leading off, doesn't mean I'm gonna go slap the ball the other way, or um, bunt more, or um, take more pitches. Um, just because I'm hitting third, doesn't mean I'm just gonna pull the ball more and hit more home runs. You know, um, I am who I am, and I just take the same approach in every spot, the, the, every spot in the lineup, wherever I get put on. Um, with that being said, there is. Um, a little bit more of a responsibility when you're leading off of um, you have to share a little bit more information because you are the first person that's facing the, the, the starter that day. Um, and then um, it's the same thing with the stolen bases last year when they say, oh, there's a different rule now, you're going to run more. Um, I'm probably taking the same amount of chances I've taken my whole career. You know, I think my game is not going to really change that much. Um, I just love getting things started. You know, I think it's kind of cool to be able to either get a base hit, steal a base, or a home run, or a double, and, you know, just get the, the, the crowd and the, the, the team going. As of right now, I do prefer it today. Um, next year, I might come in and say, I, you know, you might ask me the same question. I might be hitting second. I say, oh, I prefer to hit second, you know, um, whatever team needs. Come to Dave on the right side. Francisco, we've seen a number of elite players that come to the playoffs and have a hard time performing, whether for whatever reason it might be. When you first hit the playoffs, you've done well 
ever since. Is there something, can you acknowledge that it's not just the same game as it is during the regular season, that it does take a little bit of a mental adjustment to be able to perform in October? Yeah, I, I can acknowledge it. It's not, it, is, it is the same game. There's more pressure. Um, there's more... Um, uh, there's more stake. I guess, I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to f figure out how to say. Um, with that being said, every every pitch matters a little bit more. Every swing matters a little bit more. Every at bat could be um, a decisive whether you play a game tomorrow or not. You know. So um, yes, you you are focused. You you study a little bit more in depth. You know. Um, uh, you you prepare a little bit different, you know. I guess the same thing with the pitchers. They go through lineups and they say, this guy can't beat you, this guy. Um, he will beat you um, if you throw him here, you know. Where, where, however they want to navigate the lineups and there's different strategies that um, pitchers have throughout the regular year and then in the, in the postseason. And um, I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of good hitters around me. So I think that's, uh, and coaches as well. So I think that success that I've had, um, it goes to them, you know, it goes to the people that's around me and the people that's helping me prepare on a daily basis. Um, I thank the Lord for helping me be able to, to contribute, you know, um, in, in, in the postseason, um, there is a lot of pressure, um, and that uh, pressure is a blessing in a way, you know, because I've, I've sat home at this, this time of year and um, it sucks. So um, to be in this position right now, I think it's, it's fantastic, it's fabulous, and um, being able to, to focus and study a little bit more and, and come in and be ready to perform, it's cool. You know, with that being said, it's one of those where not every day you're going to have a good game, you know. Um, you just got to have the mentality of the guy behind you can also get it done. They're really good hitters as well. Let's go to Mike in the second row in the middle. Francisco, when uh, Otani was in here, he was asked about you and um, – he mentioned he, you, you seem like a good guy and you smile a lot, but he, he also said uh, he does feel some sort of connection with you in the way he, that you're both you know, trying to really lead your team you know, to a World Series here and a, and a championship. And um, Just wondering what you know, you've played against him plenty, but what, aside from the obvious incredible talent and what, what he can do, what are some things you see about his game that you know, player to player that you admire or that you notice? I admire his shoes. Uh, he, he's got cool cleats. Uh, um, I admire the ability to stay within himself. Um, I mean, he's a guy that from day one has had a lot of pressure on him. Um, I've been a lot of eyes and cameras on him and his ability to stay within himself and, and to not get too big um, and to stay... Um, to stay the course, that to me that's that's brilliant. You know, he's done a fantastic job of everywhere he's gone. He has managed to maneuver himself the right way, and um, he plays the game the right way. I respect that. I feel like he um, he respects his peers. Um, whether they're wearing his same, his same uniform or the other uniform. And, um, yeah, it's been fun to watch him come into the league and become um, as good as he, as he has. Go to Jesse in the second row on the left side. Curious, Francisco, for a good hitter like yourself, what's the one thing or the most important thing you've learned about hitting from J.D. Martinez, if, if anything? Um. JD has helped me a lot, uh, and, and, but if there's one thing I can um, take from him is um, that there's principles to hitting, and if you, I've learned to look at my swing a little bit more, 
because they're like you said, there's principles to hitting, and there's things that you got to check. And if they're correct, you should be hitting. Um, so I have appreciated the way he has gone about it this year, and he's been one of the best hitters in this decade. Um, and in in He's extremely knowledgeable, so I, I respect him a lot, um, and yeah, he's he's a, a book of, he's got a lot of things when it comes to hitting, a lot of drills and stuff, so he's fantastic.